I we never good? took a lesson, you know, that's why maybe, because I, I hate it. <laughs> All right, Jasmine, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Um, here we are together in uh, Puente Hermano. Yes. Can you please tell us a bit about actually who you are, what age are you and where you're from? I'm from Italy, uh, I'm 26. Uh, yeah, I'm here in Puente Romano because I wear ASICs. Okay. Uh, and where are you from, precisely? What uh, city? At Precision, I did uh, one one week in Dubai. No, what uh, city are you from? Ah, sorry, uh, from Lucca. Okay. It's in Tuscany. All right. Yeah, I, I born here, there. Okay. I think you're currently number one Italian in the world. No, no now no. Now number one is Trevisan. Ah, okay. Number one, Trevisan, number two, Bronzetti, and number three. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I have such good information. <laughs> <laughs> Not like you, come on. <laughs> so I'm number one. <laughs> I read it somewhere. <laughs> can, can, can you Maybe my dad wrote this. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I think your dad wrote your uh, Wikipedia page yeah. and, uh, <laughs> for the sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us about your game? What does it look like? Uh, I like to to attack. I mean, but my serve is not really really good. I'm just 160 centimeter, so I have to you know to build the point. Yeah. But I like to yeah to, to hit strong the ball. And what's your ranking right now? I think it's 63 maybe something like that. But you've been 40. Four. 44. Yes. All right. Yes. Um, you are pro since how long? I don't know. A <laughs> couple years already, right? Yeah, maybe more, maybe more. I don't know what means to be a pro, I mean which ranking. I think as long as you have one point. No? Oh, so it's, uh, it's at least uh, nine years. Okay. If it's from the first point, it's at least nine years. I was 17. And how did you actually discover tennis? Uh, because uh, I was born in a little uh, uh, country near Lucca, like I said, and there was just a or swimming pool or tennis courts, and I chose tennis because I hate to swim. Okay. <laughs> so I started because my uncle said, maybe you can try. I like to play tennis, my uncle. And uh, you can try it. I started and I like it since the, the beginning, so... But before that you've done, done dancing, right? Yes, because my, my, my mom was teaching dancing and so I was like dancing two or three years. But, but then when I started to play tennis, I decided to, to quit with dance because I like more tennis and it was more fun for me. At what age? I think I started five and a half and I quit with dance maybe one year after. And so, can, yeah. can, can you feel that dance is bringing something to your game, maybe physically or No, I think nothing. like I never dance, <laughs> you know? Really? Not even in the club? No, no I feel like I never dance You're in more in the life. bar? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean <laughs> I'm not good at all at dancing. I was, but I'm not good at all now. Really? <laughs> yes, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. All right then. Um, what's your best result so far? I think you won. Uh, I won. Uh, Porto uh, Rose? Yeah, Porto Rose last year, and yeah, that's the best result uh, that I did. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. WTA 250. Yeah, yeah. And what's your uh, objectives for 2023? Do you have something special in mind? Uh, I would like to improve, you know, more my ranking to to beat my best one, that was 44, but also to, to be, you know, in the top seed of Grand Slam, so uh, under 32 will be, will be great. Uh, it's not easy, you have to play good almost all the year to, to go and to do maybe a, one big result, mm -hmm. but that's the goal. What's the shot, the most natural shot of your game, the one you can play eyes closed any time of the day? Uh, my favorite is my forehand, but I think my backhand is the one that, yeah, it's more consistent. And the shot you need to improve the most? Serve, <laughs> of course. Are you Serve. working hard on it? Yeah, yeah, but it's not easy. I'm, 
160 centi centimeters, so I'm not so tall, you know, to mm. to hit strong <laughs> and fast. But I'm trying. <laughs> and mentally, how do you consider yourself? Mentally, I have, I think, big. I can improve a lot. Okay. Yeah, let's let's say that I can improve a lot. I think sometimes I, I'm thinking, you know, with the right mind. Sometimes no, because. Uh, I need to the goal also for 2023 is to be more consistent, so to to play the same level almost all the year, which is not easy. But I will try to do it because usually I play maybe two months good, one month bad, then again very good, then really bad. Yeah. So it's to to have a, a better average, you know. Do you have a mental coach? Uh, no, but I work with a psychologist okay. that she helped me uh, out, more out than in the court, but okay. I think it's important as well. Yeah, you feel yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you feel it's, better with it? I think everyone should work with a psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you, you talk about yourself uh, and you understand more about yourself, so for me, it was very important. And how often do you do it? Once a week, twice per month? Uh, at the beginning I was doing once a week, but now, no, now no, it's like once. When, when I need, you know? Yeah. When I need, I call her and we speak. And you just told me that you were pretty tired. What does the preseason look like in terms of uh, how many hours per day, what time? Can you describe us? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's tired because you have to, you know, to to do a lot of things. Also, always you are at home, you have to do uh, stuff that you never do because you are at home. So you say, oh, I have to do this. Okay, let's do it in December because I'm at home. And then you have a lot of things to do uh, also outside the court. But I train like two hours, um, two or three hours uh, in the gym. I mean, it's not always in the gym, but I mean for the fitness. Yeah. And then I play one day, two hours tennis, and the, the other day, two hours in the morning and one hour in the in the afternoon. So one day I do uh, three hour tennis, the day after two hours, then three hours, two hours. Yeah, that's the, the our organization. All right. Yeah. For our audience, could you give us, share with, with us the best tennis advice you received from a coach since you ever started tennis? Something that you still use every now and then, something you think is the most essential? Uh, I think it's uh, men and mentally uh, to be in the present when you play, so to be, yeah, Oh, now I'm playing tennis. Let's do this. To be focused on the present, you know. Don't think about the past, the future. Just be on the on the point and on what you are doing in that moment. All right. Yeah. Are you more Novak, Roger, Rafa, Daniel Alcaraz, or the rest of the world? I'm Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Yeah, but you know, I grew up watching Roger and Rafa, and then after. Some years came uh, Nole, but yeah, I mean, when I was a child, I remember Roger and Rafa. Novak was too young, you know, for, uh -huh. for, for my age, but I recognize that he's, I mean, one of the best tennis players. I don't want to say which one of those are the best, but they are, I mean, I don't know, they are tennis, they're all, all of... All of them, they have something special, I think. So it's difficult to, to to choose one, you know. And at what age did you actually understand that you had something special with Denis? I mean, at the beginning, I was like, oh, it seems uh, I can play really good. I can improve really fast, you know, because I w I started to playing with some uh, children, and then after. I don't know, a couple of months, I was in the, in the, in the better, yeah. you know. next level. Uh, yeah, in the next level. So I said, oh, maybe I'm good. Then I started to play some tournaments uh, in my region, and I was winning. So I said, oh, I'm good. But I decided, I mean, I went to the Federation when I was 15, and there I, I, I started to, to train and to think 
uh, about professional. And yeah, from there I think I said, oh, maybe I can do it. Now I have the all the um, facilities. Yes, to do it. At yeah. 15. 15. Yes. Before I was like uh, I was enjoying. I was like uh, doing stuff. As a child, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. going to tennis, practice, and then home, back home, yeah. without fitness, like like this, to enjoy. Easy. <laughs> yeah, right. easy. And last thing, how do you how how do you deal with this crazy life? Because being a tennis prof professional tennis player is kind of crazy. You're never at home. You're yeah. an athlete, so you think, you sleep, you eat tennis. Yeah. Is it hard for you or you like it so much that it makes things easy? How do you? I think it's Where are you? for everyone it's, it's, it's tough because even if you like it and I like it, I feel like I'm very lucky, but it's hard. But I think it's hard that like all the, you know, all the jobs. I mean, there is something worse than tennis player for of sure. Course. But I, I feel like I'm lucky, but it's it's also hard because it's work, you know. It's a passion, but it's also work. So you have to travel, you miss the flight, how I did today. <laughs> <laughs> then you you are in uh, in the hotel. You I don't know. You have to be home for something. Uh, yeah, you're never home. You never see your your family. Your your. Uh, your close friends, your boyfriend, boyfriend girlfriend, what, what, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And it's, it's not easy, it's not easy, but I feel I'm lucky because I do what, what I love. Uh, so, yeah, I feel it. it's, it's not easy, but I feel lucky. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. What's your dream? Uh, my dream, I think as all the tennis players, it's to win a Grand Slam. I think it's, I mean, it's a dream. <laughs> uh, it's not a goal, it's a dream. Yeah. But yeah, it's that one. And next yeah. to tennis, another dream. Another dream maybe is to have a nice family. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know, after tennis, about a job or something, I, I at the moment I really I'm confused. I don't know of what course. what yeah. I'm gonna do. But because you're in the sure present. I, yeah. For <laughs> sure, yes. For sure I want I want a family. Wish you the best. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you.